News investigation has found Google is getting advertising agencies to create comparison websites, all to give the illusion of fair competition. One certified operator says the sites are made to look like the real thing, but aren't actually designed to be used for shopping. Here's our technology correspondent, Roland Banthorpe. The endless hunt for the perfect deal, searching for the brand, the fit, and of course, the cheapest price. Online, where shelf space is infinite, it should be even easier. In fact, it's far more difficult because of this box, who's in it, and why they're there. Sky News has discovered what's underneath Google's latest change. You might not have noticed, but in Europe, Google is looking slightly different. Before, all these ads at the top used to say, buy Google. But now, some new names have come up. Click on the image and you'll get taken straight to the advertiser, same as normal. But if you click on the name, you'll go to one of Google's 90 plus certified comparison shopping services. And when you do that, you'll find they don't work quite how you'd expect. These new sites give the illusion of a thriving marketplace and are supposed to function according to Google guidelines, which say they should be able to search and sort products. But consumer experts say the comparison shopping services don't live up to their name. It's a nonsense. This whole site is a joke. I, I don't know what this is, in all honesty. It looks like a blog. It's, it looks like somebody's just gone, I like hats, I like T-shirts, I like film posters. There they are. Almost all of Google's comparison shopping services are run by ad agencies. The co-founder of one ad firm told us what his site was really for. High Street One is not designed for people to come on and shop. It's not a, what we call a shopping destination. It's literally a website set up so people like uh, people such as ourselves can pass on benefits to agencies and retailers. Google is encouraging ad agencies to build CSSs by offering hefty discounts for retailers who use that route for their ads. It's an advertising system that looks like a price comparison tool. So it's almost like they're kind of fake price comparison sites in a way. We could call them that, yeah. The timing is significant because Google is being monitored by the European Commission, which fined it last year for anti-competitive behaviour. A Google spokesperson told Sky News, Google shopping complies with the European Commission's order. We give all comparison shopping services the same opportunity to show ads from merchants on Google's search results page as we give to Google Shopping. We spent many days actually being grilled by potential customers in that market. very meeting yeah. room. Adam and Siobhan Raff disagree. They brought the case against Google to the European Commission and won. They don't believe Google is playing fair. If the Commission doesn't intervene, Google is pretty openly thumbing its nose at the Commission. Google will be given a green light to continue to roll these practices out into all these other search verticals like local search and travel search and job search. So those will cease to exist in any real way and instead you'll just have Google advertisements at the top. Uh, and then who knows even beyond that into retail itself. You know, even companies like Amazon are ultimately vulnerable to these same uh, manipulative practices. Shopping is the first great test of Google's power. When one firm controls the world's flow of information, its neutrality matters for everyone. Roland Manthorpe, Sky News.